What is this, this one's the geranium? Okay, yeah. Um, oh, what was that for? That was for, uh, whatever. This is the... the Zom Zom King. King. Slash Diffenbachia. And then so this is he's cutting begonia yeah. for cross yeah, section, cross section, cross section begonia with the flowers. Yeah. This is a snake plant. Snake plant. This is the Rex begonia for the propagation. Okay. This is. Coleus. Coleus plant. Herbaceous stem cutting. And the African violet. Notice the fuzzy leaves. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the violet, violet flowers. flowers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. I'm not good for TV. <laughs> no. yeah, okay. It's the begonia. This is the begonia here. Where's the thing? Okay, you have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's that's really violet. So maybe we should do it instead of this way, kind of like. This is the herbaceous stem cutting <laughs> oh of the coleus plant. Um, <laughs> the plant is cut just below a node so that the stem segment is 8 to 13 centimeters long. Retain the leaves on the upper two-thirds to one-half of the cutting, but remove lower leaves. There should be two or more nodes on your cutting. Yeah. Okay, here's, this is the uh, geranium leaf bud cutting. Use a scalpel to cut a segment of geranium leaf containing a single node with a healthy leaf. There you go. Um, place the stem segment just below the rooting medium surface so that the leaf and its axillary bud are facing upward. This is the uh, snake thing. The snake thing. <laughs> the snake plant. Remove one of the thick linear leaves from the snake plant by cutting it off about an inch above the soil line. Cut across the leaf with two parallel cuts to produce a piece of the leaf five to eight centimeters long. Insert the proximal edge, the one that was nearest to the soil, of the segment into the rooting medium. Yeah, I guess it's a begonia. I don't know why we did a lot. One, two, oh, this is the begonia leaf cutting. Uh, choose a flat leaf from the begonia plant and remove it from the base of the petiole. Then cut the petiole away so you only have the blade. Then use a toothpick to place it in the soil and cut the veins. Okay. That's the African violet. African violet leaf cutting. Remove a leaf with its attached petiole from an African violet plant. The petiole should be trimmed so that it is no more than four centimeters long. Set the petiole deep enough into the rooting medium to keep the blade erect. Keep soil mo moist and observe over several weeks. Okay, and then <laughs> the, the dumb cane. cane. <laughs> this is the dumb cane plant. Um, use a scalpel. Cut off the older stem of the dumb cane about an inch above the soil level, starting at the bottom to cut off a small section of the stem, having at least two leaf scars and the accompanying axillary buds, i.e. two nodes. Uh, place the stem section on its side slightly below the surface of the rooting medium with one of the axillary buds facing upward. That's it. Do we need to um, 